Hi guys. Happy Friday. We've made it to the weekend. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to, I, I uploaded a video of myself grooming Milo. Um, was it last week? I think it was last week at Friday. I can't remember. I will link it down below in case you didn't see it. But I had some questions about, um, couple questions about uh, grooming. Not really about grooming, um, but about how did I learn, things like that. So I thought I would answer them today um, for you guys. First, I wanna mention my dog whistle. If you remember my last video, I was talking about using this dog whistle, which I got at PetSmart. I believe it was $8.99. Probably get them cheaper, cheaper on Amazon. But I happened to be by PetSmart and just went in there and grabbed one. I want to mention, this is working great. Marley finally came. When I blew this, all six boys came running to get their treat. So this is going to be so beneficial, even just for not when they're barking outside. Um, when I want them to come in because they're being annoying. <laughs> I think this will be great too. Like if, say... Maybe one of the dogs gets out of the front door, which my dogs don't usually run out of the front door, but there's a first time for anything. Or a gate happens to have been blown open, or which they can't because we have them uh, padlocked. But you never know, things happen. If my boys get used to hearing this whistle and know they're gonna get a treat because my, dog, my dogs love treats, I can get them to come to me. So I'm so happy this is working. So maybe this will work for some of you guys. Like I said, I'm going to try it out maybe on some other things too. I don't know. They may just get used to the whistle and think they're supposed to come in the house. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not that familiar with dog whistles. So if anybody uh, has used them to train their dogs, let me know. But it is working great and I'm so happy. I just wanted to get that little update. Um, and I get tons of questions about wearing flip-flops in the house in winter in Michigan. Aren't my feet cold? <laughs> I think it's funny that so many people are concerned about my feet being cold um, wearing flip-flops. I wear flip-flops around the house, one, because I don't like to walk barefoot in the house. I need something on my feet, but my feet get hot really fast. I've tried slippers. I've tried wearing like just wearing my socks around the house, but I still feel like I need something on my feet and I don't want to wear tennis shoes because then my feet will get hot. So I wear flip flops in the house and um, my feet don't get cold. If they do, I'll throw on some socks, but most of the time my feet do not get cold. Maybe it's because I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Maybe it's because I'm getting up there. You know, I, I'm going to be 48 Sunday <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to tell my age. I'm proud of my age, but I'm going to be 48 this Sunday, so two days, I'll be 48. So I'm no spring chicken, so maybe it has something to do also with my age, why my feet get hot, I don't know, because they, it never, they never used to get hot like that uh, when I was younger. I don't remember them getting hot like that, so maybe I'm going to start getting hot flashes soon. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. I do get hot, but I don't think they're hot flashes, or maybe I'm in denial. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, enough of that. Yes, my feet, they're, I'm, I'm just hot. My feet get hot. So I like wearing flip-flops and I even go outside in the snow and in the winter and take the garbage out to the garbage bins in my flip-flops. <laughs> so that answers that question I get a lot from people. Okay, so um, some of the questions I had on that video when grooming uh, Milo was, when did I start grooming the boys? I started when um, we brought Marley home. I used to get uh, Mozzie and Max groomed by a groomer. And once we brought Marley home, I thought, I can't afford this. If I'm gonna have uh, more than two dogs, I've gotta start learning. So that was another question, how did I learn? So what I did is, Milo, Milo, no. <laughs> He's trying to dig China over here. What are you doing? These, this furniture that we got at Art Van, I don't know what kind of material it is. I don't want to say it's microfiber, but I'm going to tell you what. This stuff has held up so well 
from them digging. They've made no holes, knock on wood, so far. I don't let them do this. Milo, no. I try not to let them do that on the furniture, but it has held up so well, and this stuff is so easy to clean. I wish I knew what it was made of, but I love this furniture. Milo! <laughs> he usually doesn't do that like that. Usually it's Max that does that really crazy. We've noticed that Milo and Max have a lot of similar, uh, their personality is so similar, like maybe they're long lost cousins or something. It's so funny. Anyways, I got on YouTube um, when I decided I was gonna start grooming my boys myself. And I just started watching YouTube videos, as many as I could find on YouTube. And went out and bought a set of clippers at Walmart, um, cheap clippers, and I just started grooming. Um, I think I first started just kind of trimming their eyebrows, uh, trimming around their feet. I, I worked up to it slowly. Um, I didn't just do a full groom right at once. I did little things slowly just to kind of get the hang of it, the feel for it and such. But there's a lot of great videos on YouTube. I have some too. My grooming playlist is always listed in the description box below. Um, there's some great videos and tips. Even um, if they're not grooming a schnauzer in their videos, there's great grooming tips all over YouTube. So start there. Start watching some videos. Um, how long does it take to groom the boys? And somebody wanted to know, like, from when I started till now, how long does it take me? When I first started grooming the boys, it took me quite a while. I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Um, how long it took, but it has lessened as I've gotten more used to it. Um, given the, I, and somebody wanted to also know, do I bathe them before grooming? Yes. It's always easier to groom a clean dog than a dirty dog. Um, so I give them a bath, I blow dry them, and then I groom them. And I would say, I've never timed myself, but I say from start to finish, if they get breaks in between, like if they got to go to the bathroom or something, it may take me about an hour to uh, hour to hour and a half to from bath to finish grooming them. Probably an hour and a half. So, um, like with Milo, I give him more breaks since he's a puppy and he gets antsy. He gets really antsy um, when I'm grooming him. So when he's starting to get frustrated being on the groovy table, I'll let him have a break, go run around outside, let off some steam, um, and then we get right back to it. So. Yeah, I'd say it takes me about an hour and a half to get the boys uh, groomed from bath to finishing grooming them. So, so anyways, I just want to answer those couple questions I got instead of typing out long answers. And I hope this um, helps someone. Um, if you're gonna start grooming, um, I'd say just just start start watching some videos and slowly start grooming. Uh, do the ears one day. Do the paws one day, trim the toenails one day, just start slowly and have some patience and you'll get faster and faster each time you groom your dog. Okay guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.